Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. A lot of requests for Polkadot today, um, probably just due to this spike here um, that we saw. So I can only summarize at the moment we are still on track here. We're still following here the overall elite wave count. We can still assume the low was in. We can still be on track with looking at uh, Polkadot uh, for a bullish breakout, um, which means that there will not be a lower low with a 60% probability for the bullish scenario, which doesn't mean we are completely out of the woods, but it means we are definitely moving in the right direction. And the way this is happening here at the moment looks quite good. Yeah, and as long as here those key lows are holding, we can focus on higher prices, especially here the low at 767. Now, I had a lot of requests, as I said today, for, for Polkadot. Um, if you are not a channel member and you are interested in more frequent updates, I have started to do some express updates for channel members only on Discord and Telegram. So um, if you want even more updates and they are shorter express updates, then consider maybe checking out the channel membership. Um, but yeah, just want to have said that because a lot of requests for BNB today, Polkadot, but I did them only yesterday evening for the channel members. Um, right, but overall, what we see here is that this was, in my opinion, a wave one. There's another possibility that we count this as a one, two and another one, two and here another one, two. But I'm rather in favor of just looking at this as a one, leading diagonal then a wave two down and here now that we are in the wave three in white within the wave three we've seen a one two yeah and we are now also here within a three that impulsive move to the upside which was quite a bit of a spike confirms the view that we are here in a wave three and it did even go above the wave one yes we've lost that level again but we broke above it which is also another good indicator that wave three is happening you could see this potentially here as a bull flag at the moment but again we're here at the micro counting level um just looking at this small movement here yeah we've only just now come down to the 38.2 percent fib, le fib level so the nine dollar nine level would be the 50 percent and then the 61.8 percent fib level which is a very meaningful one is at 896 and then the next one is at 884 and the 884 level would then again be the retest of the previous high um so yeah but in terms of a bull flag we if we call it a bull flag we shouldn't really drop much more than um the 50 percent fib retracement and from then on we could look at higher next target for the bulls needs to be this very important resistance the previous wave four high at pretty much 997 now let's call it ten dollars that will be a big, big test, a very important test. If we break through that, that would be a really good confirmation that indeed we are going higher here in line with the bullish overall elite wave count. So yeah, Polkadot is starting to break out. It's not enough evidence yet um, to really look at it. Uh, yeah, with with an even even more bullish lens. Yeah, for example, Kronos I look is looking much better. Um, Quant is looking much better, as you know. But they are already getting towards the end of their five wave moves. Um, Polkadot could have just started. Yeah, could have just started. So looking at the indicators here a little bit. Um, let's do the four hour. You can see that we're possibly going to see here a bearish crossover on the four hour in line with this move coming down. Um, the RSI might also print here a bearish crossover, but we are still above 50. So still sort of in the in the bullish range. Now that might indicate we drop a little bit more, but bear in mind we're here on the four hour chart only. Um, on the daily, this is still pushing higher, still the bullish crossover in place on the RSI and the MACD is also still pushing higher. So here from the sort of daily point of view, which is more meaningful, there's currently no end in sight yet of this uptrend that would rather confirm here the view that we are pushing higher in a wave three. Um, and the target for that wave three is around $11.30. Okay, and that's my update about Polkadot. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.